There's nothing traditional about the Thompson Center, so it should come as no surprise that one of the finalists in a design competition for the building proposed an indoor water park. WTDW News reporter Patty Wetley joins us now with more details. Patty, making a splash here uh, with the design. What is the purpose of this design competition? Remind us. Well, you stole my pun, so thanks. Sorry. But, um, it was just the, too obvious. The competition is sponsored by um, the Chicago Architecture Center and the Chicago Architectural Club. And they're trying to generate some interest in the building, which is up for sale. And preservationists are worried that it could wind up being demolished by whoever the eventual buyer is. All right, so how did some of the finalists envision repurposing the Thompson Center, including that well, water park that we mentioned? Yes, as, as you mentioned, the, the fun one is the water park, which actually there would be a hotel kind of wrapped around all of it. Some of the other proposals play a lot more with the facade where they have things like video and digital projections on the outside of the building. Others recommend possibly a school. Um, there's urban farms that would take advantage of the CTA station there to use that to transport the produce around the city. Um, lots of opportunities for um, arts organizations to maybe do productions and have their office space in there. So there's lots of opportunity here if the building survives. And when will the winner be announced? They're going to announce the winner September 14th uh, at the Chicago Architecture Center. And then all of the finalists and the winners, their proposals will all be on display through October there at the center. I think we all know that if it turned into a water park, it would be the world's greatest indoor water park. <laughs> I right. know. We want that. Come on. I know. It'd be great for the heart of the city. All right, Patty Wetley, thank you so much. And Thanks, you can read Karen. Patty's full story on our website where you can learn more about the finalist designs. It's all at WTTW.com news.